Here's what you missed in February 2024. The teaser trailer for the Wicked film is released. Lindsay Lohan continues her return to the rom-com space with Netflix's Irish Wish. Disney announces that they've retooled their planned Moana TV show into a feature-length sequel film intended to be released later this year. The live-action remake of the 2016 movie is allegedly still in development. After being kept tightly under wraps, it's revealed that Anya Taylor-Joy has a secret cameo in Dune Part 2. Shogun begins airing on Hulu. Despite winning multiple awards as a limited series, it's rumored that Beef will be returning for a second season. Hiro Takeyano, the founder of the Japanese discount chain store Daiso, passes at 80. Willie's chocolate experience in Glasgow goes viral after photos revealed the sorry state of the supposedly immersive event. The internet is abuzz with conspiracy theories regarding Kate Middleton's alleged disappearance. The Princess of Wales has not been seen in public since December 25, 2023, although Kensington Palace has insisted that her absence is simply because she's in recovery from an abdominal surgery. The docuseries Where is Wendy Williams premieres on Lifetime, revealing that Williams has been diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia, explaining her erratic behavior and ongoing health issues in recent years. Actor Bruce Willis had been diagnosed with the same disorders a few years earlier. The show was criticized for being exploitative, with Wendy Williams' Guardian unsuccessfully suing to prevent its release. The second season of the Halo TV series airs. Lady Gaga is added to the roster of skins for the Fortnite video game. YouTuber James Charles releases his debut single, Call Me Back. The trailer for Quiet On Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV is released, with the docuseries following the toxic work culture on Dan Schneider's Nickelodeon shows. Squishmallows files an intellectual property lawsuit against Build-A-Bear, claiming that the 25-year-old brand's new Scooshers line is a knockoff version of their cuddly plushies. KFC launches the Cheetza, a fried chicken and pizza hybrid that is practically guaranteed to give you a stomach ache. Which brings me to today's sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I absolutely adore cooking. It's one of those daily rituals that helps me keep my sanity after a long day of work. But with so many things on my plate, pun intended, sometimes I struggle to find the time to even get outside and buy groceries, never mind actually figuring out what I'm gonna make with all the stuff in my fridge. HelloFresh helps take the hassle out of dinner time, delivering fresh, pre-portioned ingredients straight to my door. All I have to do is choose one of HelloFresh's dozens of recipes, and they handle the meal planning and shopping. I just open the box and get cooking. If you're as busy as I am, they even have a lineup of quick and easy meals that take only 20 minutes to make, leaving you with more time to do the things that you love. Right now when you sign up for HelloFresh, you'll also receive a free dessert. And as someone with a heck of a sweet tooth, but terrible baking skills, what could be better? Whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to save the day. Click the link in the description or use my code GIRLS16FM and get 16 free meals and free dessert for life while your subscription is active. Now let's get back to the video. Netflix's live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series premieres to mixed reviews. The MCU attempts to tackle the Fantastic Four, announcing Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, and even Moss Backrack as Ben Grimm. Considering how badly the 2015 reboot went, I wish them luck. Ahead of hosting Saturday Night Live, Io Edebree's previous comments about musical guest Jennifer Lopez resurface. Twice releases the music video for I Got You. A live-action movie based on the popular Japanese series Naruto is in development, with Dustin Daniel Cretton, who co-wrote and directed the Marvel Studios movie Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, being tapped to lead the adaptation. Yolanda Saldivar, who was convicted of murdering beloved singer Selena, grants her first English interview in decades for the docuseries Selena and Yolanda, The Secrets Between Them. After receiving a slew of negative comments about her appearance, comedian Amy Schumer is diagnosed with Cushing syndrome. Carl Weathers passes at age 76. Beyonce announces her eighth studio album, Act Two, intended to be a follow-up to her 2022 project, Renaissance. She shared the news with two lead singles, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em, seemingly confirming the album's suspected country direction. Lana Del Rey announces her own country album, Lasso, which is set to be released in September. 
Sophie Ellis Baxter performs Murder on the Dance Floor at the 2024 BAFTAs, a nod to the song's re-entry into the mainstream following its appearance in the film Saltburn. Michael J. Fox presented Oppenheimer with the BAFTA for Best Film. Buckingham Palace announces that 75-year-old King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. Japanese baseball player Shohei Otani reveals in a surprise announcement that he's married, devastating fans. At the 58th Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs defeat the San Francisco 49ers 25-22. Going into overtime, this was the longest Super Bowl game in history. The halftime show was headlined by Usher, who performed some of his greatest hits, with guest appearances by Alicia Keys, Will I Am, Little John, Ludacris, and Her. That same day, Usher also married his partner of five years. He had a hell of a 24 hours. Miley Cyrus performs at the Grammys while celebrating her first win after nearly two decades in the industry. Tracy Chapman returns to the stage for a performance of her 1988 song, Fast Car, alongside Luke Combs. When accepting the award for Best Pop Vocal Album, Taylor Swift announces her 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department. Supergroup Boy Genius win three awards that evening, ironically just a few days after announcing that they would be going on an indefinite hiatus. Tyla becomes the youngest African to ever win a Grammy. A24 announced a Talking Heads tribute album, which will feature multiple artists including Miley Cyrus, Lord, and Paramore, who will be covering songs from the band's 1984 live album, Stop Making Sense. After being unable to reach a deal regarding licensing rights, Universal Music Group pulls its entire library from TikTok. Selena Gomez releases the music video for the song Love On. Britney Spears teases her new project, Sex and Diamonds, which fans speculate is an album. Olivia Rodrigo begins her Guts World Tour. Charlie XCX announces her sixth studio album, Brat. Conan Gray releases the music video for Lonely Dancers. Solange Knowles is Harper Bazaar's cover star. After several delays, Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign release their collaborative studio album, Vultures One. The track, Talking, features guest vocals from West's daughter, North. Country singer-songwriter Toby Keith passes at age 62 following a two-year battle with stomach cancer. At long last, Normani finally announces the title of her debut solo studio album, Dopamine, which is expected to be released later this year. Fingers crossed it actually happens. Penelope Cruz is interviewed by Dua Lipa for V Magazine. French fashion designer Claude Montana passes at age 76. Hunter Schaefer is arrested at a ceasefire protest during President Joe Biden's late night talk show appearance. Bella Hadid teases a mysterious new brand, Or Bella. For his final cover as the editor in chief of British Vogue, Edward Enfill wrangles 40 of the magazine's prior cover stars in one photo shoot. Oprah Winfrey parts ways with Weight Watchers after serving as a spokesperson and member of the board for nearly 10 years. It's believed that Winfrey is stepping down due to her recent weight loss being attributed to her use of a pharmaceutical drug. In a surprise move, F1 driver Lewis Hamilton announces that he will be leaving his position at Mercedes after over a decade in favor of Ferrari for the 2025 season. Chimana Kamali releases her first Chloe collection as the brand's creative director. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky star in a short film for the former's Fenty Beauty brand. Margaret Zhang steps down from Vogue China after serving as their editor-in-chief since 2021. Her short-lived tenure was quite controversial, drawing praise for her modern concepts but being criticized for failing to make an impression on the magazine's Chinese audience. Zendaya stuns at the Dune Part 2 premiere in a metal robot suit from Thierry Mugler's fall-winter 1995 couture collection. South African musician Tyla lands her first fashion campaign with Gap. Beyonce's hair care line, Sacred, hits the market. Actress Ashley Benson welcomes her first child with husband Brandon Davis. Vanity Fair's 2024 Hollywood issue honors Jenna Ortega, Lily Gladstone, Bradley Cooper, Natalie Portman, Pedro Pascal, Jodie Comer, Greta Lee, Coleman Domingo, Charles Melton, Barry Keegan, and Divine Joy Randolph. Lionsgate announces that plans are underway for a modern remake of the 2000 film American Psycho, which in turn was an adaptation of the 1991 novel of the same name. Comedian Richard Lewis passes from a heart attack at age 76. Former Disney Channel star and singer Bridget Mendler launches a satellite data startup. Mendler also announces that she'd adopted a child back in 2022. Lily Gladstone wins Best Actress at the SAG Awards. Emily Blunt, Anne Hathaway, and Meryl Streep have a Devil Wears Prada reunion while presenting. 
Barbara Streisand is honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award. What did you miss in February 2024?